Hello everybody, welcome back to Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today we're having a Trump coffee, and getting ready to show you an upgrade that I did on my Logan lathe. It's a 1947 Logan lathe, and I got DRO on the X and the Z axis on this, but I wanted to get DRO on my tailstock, so... I decided to make that happen. Now, when I did my mill, I replaced the DRO with that one right there. Uh, this one here is the one that came off of my Grizzly mill. So I made a bracket to go on there, and that's what it looks like right there. And I'll show you how that works. So, this one here, when you get back to right there, it, le it lets it loose. So, right there is where we need it to be. So, basically, I have a, uh, a dauber here that you can take out and it's got, you just dip oil. That's all it is, the oil dipper. And it goes down in there and holds tight. Well, it just so happened that I, that hole was the exact same size as uh, 3 eighths, six or 3 eighths uh, hole. So I just tapped it for 3 eighths. And if I don't use the DRO, this still fits. The dauber still fits. So we're going to put that aside and put it in our drawer for the extra parts for this lathe. So because this is round, we didn't really have a whole lot of choices here except to use that as some way of mounting something. So I made this bracket here that goes on there just like that, and then I just fold it down over to kind of keep it, you know, side to side motion from happening. And then cut out the relief for my lockdown. So <clears throat> there's a little step down or step up to the top of the round. So we needed to put a washer in its place. All right, and then we got another washer and a short stubby screw to hold that down. Of course, getting it lined up is another thing. All right, there it is. All right. So... Now that's tight. It ain't going nowhere. All right. I think I got it straight. Yep. Probably could stand to go over a little bit more. There it is. All right. So then we have to get a way to make it so that this here guides this. So... We're gonna bring that out, and I made this piece right here that has a set screw on it that goes underneath that. And before I set my set screw completely tight, we wanna put these screws in. And these are just two little M4 screws So now we'll tighten that down. Tighten this down. 
I actually need to take a razor and cut that off because it's bubbling that plastic up, the reader. But anyway, it don't matter. All right, so we're going to set that to where this is just right inside of it. And then we'll set our set sprue. All right, so that's tight. And there we got it. It works. Now that's as far as I can go. I've got a mark here on the end that tells me that I can't go no further than that. And that's exactly two inches from here to here. So we'll turn that on. And we're going to bring that all the way in. And then we'll zero it. And we'll take it out. There's one inch. And there is two inches. So we got two inch travel, which I don't need that much more anyway. So now I can measure how deep I go on my drill bits or milling bits. Uh, so that works. And then you got everything still works. Hell, for that matter, I could probably take that dauber and drill a hole straight down in the middle of that bolt and probably put that dauber right there in the bottom of that or in the top of that bolt. Cause it's just a little hole. I could just drill a hole in there and that would go down in the center of that bolt and still use the dauber if I ever wanted to. But I never use it, so there's really no point in having it. So it'll go in the drawer here with the rest of the lathe stuff. So that was just a short video to show you what I did to make this a little bit more precise lathe and I think it turned out pretty nice it don't look bad so <clears throat> all that matters is it worked right but anyway uh, there's my fix for tailstock DRO on a 1947 Logan lathe uh, yes, it would have been a whole lot better if this would have been a square one, but back in the old days, they didn't know what square meant. Everything was round. All your hoods on your cars was round. Uh, they didn't come out with the square stuff until the 70s. <laughs> anyway. Uh, better turn my DROs off or I won't have any batteries. Anyway, that's my DRO for the Logan lathe. I hope that gives you guys some ideas of what, what you need to put a, a tailstock DRO on your lathe when it's almost next to impossible. And the beauty part was, is when I tapped that for 3 8 it's still exactly the same size as, as the dauber that, was, that goes in it. So all I did was cut threads in it. <laughs> it still kept the same inside diameter. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.